Okay, we're going to do 10 minutes of, of weekly learning. Tanya, Perak 23, chapter 23. Opportunity to bring a little bit from the Ramchal as well. Minna we're going through our storage and we found a lot of Svarim, Munisitecha, and also a famous book, the Derech Hashem, but Pathways to the Way of God, by Rabbi Avram Yechel Katz. He sort of explained, and I haven't seen this book for years. So it's just exciting to see, remind myself of, of the concept of uh, Pasalo, the yeah, shameful bread. It's a very important concept. As we try and make a Kenyan, we might try and make our own unique path in engaging in the Vodas Hashem, not based on family or inheritance or anything easy, like real hard work. And seeing that this time period of Tamas and Av are connected with Reuben and Shimon, Rashi Tevis Rush, connected to the idea of poverty. And we have to turn that around, that Rush, the Dao, into Delis, as B'nai Sosfa says. Turn it into the Rush, into a, instead of a Rush, to a Shah, the same letters of the iron we get from Elul. Gad is ten times seven, which is seventy. Eina Yelecha. You mentioned in the office the idea of so we're just going through this concept and in the Derech Hashem and the pathways to Hashem we're seeing how everything is explained clearly, systematically very similar from the Ramchal to the Balatanya in terms of bringing out the clarity of truth, of, of reality of the body and the soul and the idea of that constant conflict, transforming yourself through Torah mitzvahs. So where we're holding now in Tanya, it says, So this is the 20th of Shvat and Chitas, page 300 lessons in Tanya. It says the Bala Tanya, likewise external garment of the divine soul, its faculty of action is um, it's it's, which is external combines factors of speech and thought since it functions outside oneself of the person feeling and practicing the commandments. Who mislabish bechias shav ma'asa mitzvah. This is the close itself in vitality of the performance of the mitzvah. Nasa gum came good from the shamal of rots and elion, the battle of the gamri. Comes like a body and a soul, relation to the divine will, and it's completely surrendered to the divine will. The soul's power of action becomes united with the divine will in the same way as one's body is united with his soul. This is what we're always talking about with united souls, bringing that unification between the body and the soul, between Amis, well, between humanity, bringing a soul level. Okay, and Gam are very good for Odd and Makayim and Mitzvah. So that's where Amiso, we have to be Makayim and Mitzvah through the organs of the human body which perform this Mitzvah. Shekoyach, Bechinus, Amasa, Shal Nefesh, Shal Kis, Zabush, Behem, Beshas, Masa, Vekiyam, and Mitzvah, Hem, Nasu, Makaba, Mamish, Labrots, and Elia. And the fact that that is clothed during the performance and fulfillment of the Mitzvah, they too become a veritable vehicle for the Divine Will. Higon, Ayad, Machlok, and Sadaka, Laniyam, or Oisa, Mitzvah, Sacheris. So this is a concept that the hand which distributes charity before or performs another command comes in the act of performing the mitzvah charity for the divine will. So that's the concept that Chodesh um, Elul gives tzedakah to the Chodesh of Tamas and Av. That's why we're one of the reasons we're learning Hilkas um, Elul in the office, we're learning it already because they get a big awe of tshuva already. Malach Basada Rashi Tevis Av is Elobo, the idea that we're tapping into that light already. And even in the Parshish of the Chagim, we see that Hashem arranged that in between the Korbanas of Pesach and Shavuos, you may Bakurim, there's an in between stage which talks about giving gifts to the poor taking care of the Matna Sinim and making sure the poor. So that's where Maram is to the Chodashim of Tamas and Av, which are poor mounts. We said Reuven Shem is rash, poor means poverty. And that's the idea of giving tzedakah with your own hands is a whole other thing. It's a whole other level, says the Balatanya, that that hand becomes a chariot for the divine will. And that's the concept that we're able to tune into the will of Hashem during these times when we don't have Kabbana and we don't have... Yom Tov, even though Tisha B'Av, and hopefully this year will become a Yom Tov, 
but it's a time of more of poverty of das, and we have to bring out from the times coming forward the the das to, to give the true das to these these more poverty das this korban kind of time this destruction and make the chibur that Elo and the Yom Tovim bring us. Ragalim and Machlokas, Ragalim, Machlokas the Dava Mitzvah. Similarly, the feet which walk for the purpose of fulfilling a mitzvah, the Kain of Per, Losh and Shemadabra, and Divrei Torah, and the mouth and tongue, which we're doing here, speaking Torah, or the brain, Hamoyach, Shemahaya, but Divrei Torah, Vyur Shemaya, Megalas Hashem Borchu, is reflecting on the fear of heaven or the greatness of Hashem, blessed be He. Zeo Shama Razal, Avas Hain Hain Makava. So we learned that the Avram Yitzhak Yaakov, the Avos, our patriarchs, are truly the divine chariot. So this becomes this concept of Bittu, of Makava, of complete nullification, like the, the one riding the chariot is, has no will of its own, the chariot. It's completely bottled to the rider of the chariot. And that's a concept that the Avos, Avram Yitzhak Yaakov, are in Makava. To call Ibrahim, Kulam Haya Kedoshim of Dilim and Yanim al and all their organs are completely holy and detached from what? From this world. And through their lives, Lonasu Makava, Rakla, Rotsin Elion, Avado, Koya Mayhem. And their whole lives were served as a vehicle for nothing but the divine will. So this, the Jewish body becomes a chariot when he does a mitzvah. That's like the patriarchs have a mitzvah Yaakov. So mission to the divine world. As we know as Avram become pure divine level of sphere of Chesed and Yitzhak became the pure divine level of Gevura and Yaakov became the pure divine level of Tiferes. They became Makovas for the Sphere Selyonim, for the divine will in the larger sense. So too when Am Yisrael do a mitzvah, we become bottle on that level, that organ becomes bottle to the divine will. And that's something which is very uh, powerful. I'm just telling about a ride back, yes, because so my son went to the mikveh. I'll show him we got to dukin together today. So this whole parak really, just to come to the summary of Shmuel Daim, we didn't get there yet, and remind everyone to keep learning the uh, chitas from David Jerome. We'll keep shouting out his, his link. You can look it up, David Jerome, and uh, Daily Tani is giving over the chitas. And uh, so this is Shmuel Daim and b'nai-aliyah.com. He says, the oneness of God and his Torah, performing mitzvahs, that's chapter 23. The Zohar tells us that the two footy mitzvahs are the limbs of the king. And since the Hashem decrees the mitzvahs for themselves and for no ulterior motive, all the worlds are created for the exclusive purpose of providing the means by which to perform mitzvahs. Therefore, the act of mitzvahs is like a makava, chariot to Hashem's most inner will. And as such, the act of a mitzvah is totally nullified to Hashem, just like the body to the soul. We perform mitzvah to become a chariot, the act of mitzvah, and we said the mitzvah is like a chariot to Shem's will. Therefore, we have become chariot to Shem's will. In other words, we become holy like, a, like the body, and Hashem is the neshama. Okay, so that's the content. We're going to get to the next stage of this chapter, learning Torah. We'll do that next. Because remember, we're bringing the oneness of, of Hashem through the mitzvahs at this point, and we're going to bring that into the concept of of Torah. So they have the, the analogy of the divine will, the chariot and the rider, unity of body and soul, and that's by performing mitzvahs. So that he says underneath here, the sages designate so the patriarchs of God chariot. Every Jew becomes a chariot when he performs the mitzvah. So the concept of submission. This is something which, you know, when you're learning the, uh, the Ramchal, which you brought at the beginning, Slightly different focus, more the concept of the struggle, let's say, and you're being bottle um, of nullification. He talks about the performance of mitzvahs and what we're here for, um, and that's the key really to elevate everything we have, all the darkness through the Torah mitzvahs. It's a slightly different focus, obviously, of how. And uh, I'm just looking through here. When he words God can change at any time, he can bring about various miracles and wonders, his desires as well, hoping this Tisha Bab will be turned around, says the Ramchal. And uh, we have to realize that Hashem is running everything for us, just like he gave us these mitzvahs that elevate our physical body, bring the Ratzin of Hashem into the mitz, into the body, into the connection between body and soul. 
have all these different levels of soul, it brings a very similar concept. There's definitely an overlap. Um, so I'm at Sasham, but we're going to start getting back a little bit more into the Ramchal. And, and it'll be interesting to see how it connects in exactly and slight differences of focus. But I, I don't see and reminding myself this concept of bittle is definitely more of a Chabad concept of subjugation, of nullification and tuning into that inner Rats and Hashem this is, this is the point that Balatani is bringing us and it's very important to tune into this truth especially in our generation where there's so much distraction when you have a simple, clear system of Bittal, of doing rots and Hashem, it just takes away a lot of the confusion that we're surrounded by in our generation, and that's something which is, uh, yeah, amazing. Yeah, we're still, <laughs> we're, we're trying to turn around the poverty of these days, like we're looking for property in you know, as well is not simple right now, the market and everything, it makes you feel a little bit vulnerable and needy, but the, the bracha is that it will come in the right time. Just like Hashem is looking for His dwelling in this world. He's looking for us to build a dwelling, a Dera Tachtona. So too, we're looking for our own Dera. And that gives us, every time we go through something in life, which is similar to the Sar Shrina, that in terms of the Golas, the, this gives us a more elevated way to experience that. Like right now with my son, we dedicate our learning to my son, Bochitzak Ben Masha, who's being bottled in the way that we had in mind when he was first born is this bittle brings brings brocha Baruch Yitzchak is his name and it's Yitzchak is the ultimate Messias Nefesh is in Aza in the tremendous heat and Mr. Hashem just like with the Kedis Yitzchak he didn't have to be killed to be Moses Nefesh he was able to go on and build his life but that Messias Nefesh that he's performed as a Bechinus of a Kedis Yitzchak going into Aza for a three week mission currently should have in mind his Hatzlacha and all the soldiers with him to turn around this whole difficult situation. But the, the bitter, the, the, the nullification to the Ratz and Elyon brings a tremendous Tanag and is part of the continuation of our connection to Avram Yitzhak Yaakov that we have that ability to nullify ourselves to the higher will of Hashem. Inner will of Hashem, the divine will. And that's a big Hatzlacha that we have. Wishing everybody an easy fast. We probably won't be doing any classes till Wednesday, Thursday. So I um, have to focus on, on the time we're in. But as we learn the Shabbos, we'll just say something from Shlomo that we learn a Dava Mitoch Dava, that this is actually a much more panemius level of learning that we get on Tishabav. It's not that we're not learning, we're learning a much deeper lesson of connection and the Vekas to Hashem. And that we learned that from the Meishaloyach, the idea that this panemius of the time is actually much bigger or and it gives us opportunity to really connect and become nivunim. Some people who initiate, who intuit the Rats and Hashem, have to learn how to intuit. What does Hashem want from us right now? And you know, with the war and everything else going on, everyone has more opportunities. So my wife is here, so I'm going to go. I wish everyone once again an easy fast. Hopefully, we turn around to the Yemei Sos and Basimcha. And we're definitely excited for the next time period of Tuba'ab and all the Simcha coming up, all the Tshuva. And we'll keep delving into the laws of Elul and, and Yom Tovim and the awe that's awaiting us, the awe of Tshuva right now and the Chitas. If you're Zochim, Mr. Shem, to do the Ratzon and do the Mitzvahs B'Shlemus. Amen.